Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern... That's my name, Northern Lion. Plays Darkest Dungeon. I've read your comments. I've been around the comments as they've been said. I've listened actively, I've listened passively. I've made them a part of my life. What am I going to do on this episode? Um, maybe some camping skills would be wise, but apart from that, uh, remove quirks that have Ania in them. Mania, Pennsylvania... I can't really think of any other words with Ania at the end. Listomania! So here's what we're gonna do first. Um, yeah, let's get another tough ring. That seems like a good idea. Womp womp. No thank you. Plus 50% debuff resist. Minus 20% stress is pretty cool. Um, well, do we have like a dream team squad? Do we have a squad ready to fight the boss? A boss? Presumably, yes. Kill one Necromancer's Lord. Medium champion mission. Why not, right? And our typical squad for this is like... Like, boss killing is Nick. It usually was Wolf. He's a very expensive man to upgrade right now, though. Let's use our Noggin. Usually we put like a Fox Mulder or a Dracula Fetus on the case. I got a level with you. Um, where's where's Fox Mulder? He didn't die, did he? No, he's right there. I'm taking Drac. He's earned it, you know? Fox Mulder, he's let us down too many times in the past for me to be contented. So we'll take Drac. And then other units that affect Mark, well, or, you know, work well with Mark. Typically was our uh, bounty hunter who died on a recent mission and then Wolf who needs some substantial levels up. So you know what? Maybe we'll play it a little slower than that. Sorry to uh, bait you a little bit. I'm just looking at non-boss missions real quick. That's a trinket I do not care about. They're all long missions, plus 50% resolve XP. I mean, it's really useful if we care about leveling units up, which we, like, don't at all right now. Explore 90% of rooms. I basically hate that. Um, so the thing is, like, upgrading Wolf to maximum level is actually going to cost, like, 30 grand. We have to do it at some point, but do we really want to do it when we're only at 70? Kind of blows our stack pretty early, you know what I mean? So, I'm tempted to maybe... Well, give me one moment here. I know it was a slow start, but... Let's see what we got here. Veteran, Occultist, Shield Breaker, and etc. and etc. I was looking for someone a little bit stronger, but that's okay. Okay. I have a plan, I think. Tyler, who I did name... I forgot their old name. <laughs> Oh well. Um, we should, again, we want to accomplish something on every episode. So what do we accomplish on this episode? Right, You can't. of course you can't go out on that mission. I mean, don't insult me. I wasn't intending to send you out on that mission. Um, bumper crop. I don't know what this does. Gather three grain sacks. Berserk charm. Minus five ack is just terrible. Um... So I think, like, a medium mission where we gather three grain sacks, sure, let's give it a try. And I do want to take a mark party, because the mark party works well. So I want to take, like, bounty hunter, unoccultist, we'll take drac, because I like him. We'll take wolf, and we'll try to upgrade him in stages, maybe. And then we'll take uh, Nicholas. Now, why not take the weaker Arbalist? Because I'm worried that this uh, party would have some problems with this. So we're going to make sure we're on We Must Eat. The swine's appetite for comestibles exceeds even their thirst for blood. And then, we're going to start with Wolf. Um, you know, he's a very mission-critical part of this campaign. No question about it. So I don't mind spending on that. And then we'll just quickly go here and be like, okay, you know we want... At least, like, level 2s of all these. And probably level 3s. And you know what? It wasn't as expensive as I thought. So let's go everything but Shadow Fade. It was 20 grand, but... 
to some extent, so be it. And then Tyler, he's good to go. Okay, so we'll... <laughs> probably at some point we'll want to do an antiquarian mission, but this is okay. Now let's make sure we got the right kind of squad that can go here. You do need some guild upgrades. Here's the thing. I don't really want to be so spendy. But, it is a, like, final level mission, so... What do I even roll with you most of the time? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely collect bounty and finish him, I think, are viable choices here. Just make sure Drac... He's good except for Sacrificial Stab, which I'm using, I guess, mostly out of inertia. Nick is fully kitted, 100%. Okay. And then, finally, camping skills. We just want something that prevents ambush. That's my number one strat. Okay. Oh, there we go. Unspeakable commune. But it does raise stress. Tyler, you got any options? No. All right. So, uh, out of a sense of duty, we will take that. All right. I think we're good to go. Just make sure we're going on the right mission here. And then, wait, wait, wait. Now that we've got our party set for this mission, I know this seems like too much, but... We're gonna look at our units and be like, do you have a mania? No. A blutomania, obsessed with cleanliness. Sometimes you skip turns. I'd like to cure you of a blutomania, please. Obsessed with killing. I actually don't know if I mind that that much. Obsessed with material things. Yes. All right. Well, you're not doing anything else? Get treated. Maybe you'll get treated. And get even more out of it. So we've spent 40 grand here, but it's in the interest of making our party better. Ha if you're happy, I'm happy. That's the thing. I'm not mad that, uh, you know, there's been comments that are like, uh, Oh, he's he doesn't understand what he's doing. He's uh, making bad decisions, etc., etc. I'm just happy when you're happy. We did on equip, didn't we? Because, like, where's the healer's trinket? Maybe we didn't. Uh, it was sorted down to the bottom for whatever reason. Okay. Healing skills upgraded. Um, does raise your stress. Because I was like, maybe we'll go for prot or something like that. But... Yeah, prot stress. Prot stress. Just thinking. So usually our bounty hunter or our uh, grave robber are the damage... Get the damage heads. Like, I would think giving you extra accuracy is fine. But you also... Hold on. You benefit from Sniper's Ring. Which is... This one. He's finally gotten it. Plus 15 act, plus 4 crit. Like, we can roll that even though it's not that amazing. And don't we... Wait, wait there's already an Arbalist... Uh, I thought we already had the Arbalist... Yeah, this thing right here. Wait a minute. You're not... I am a fool. Plus 25% damage in position 4. Love it. Look at that. And then, we'll stack up even more damage on top of that. So I, you're going to be doing disgusting damage. Or we could also raise your crit chance, which is very useful. But Okay, then you... Yeah, extra damage on melee skills. And extra crit on melee skills. And then... Extra damage on melee skills. So we're stacking up... Class specific buffs, more or less. Now, you, I kind of like extra accuracy on range skills, or just why not just 10 extra accuracy in general? And then I'm looking at like grave robber specific stuff. Yeah, okay. We do have some like high quality stuff that we're not using right now, but just the occultist, right? The occultist. We don't really care about any of that. Um, plus 25% stress. I don't really want to stack stress debuffs. Seems dangerous. Something simple. I mean, plus 10 dodge, plus 50% stun resist is pretty low. But I don't know. 40 dodge is pretty amazing. So let's give it a shot. We, we've never used it. And we got it, so we might as well. Alright, provisions. Do I have my... I don't have my cheat sheet indicator. That's on me. It's a medium level mission on the Warrens. And we'll never be one. I think I have my phone. Just give me one second.
do not have my phone. All right, it's always dangerous territory. Trying to conjure in my head, what do you want on the warrants? Well, you want uh, 20 food, which is a multiple of four, three shovels, three bandages, one medicinal herbs, two skeleton keys, 20 torches. How close are we on that one? And you go 18 torches. That's probably way too many torches. I don't think we're forgetting anything too critical here. I mean, maybe anti-venom? Just take two of those just to be safe. Alright, we'll give it a try. Um, we did spend about 40 grand. It's my first Darkest Dungeon episode of the day. We're 11 minutes in and haven't done anything yet. Time to take a sip of the coffee and get this show on the road. Oh, did you know if you can use a supply item, sometimes it'll make a curio better. Who would have thought? Okay. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. He's not wrong. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. So this is, uh, I'm trying to plan our path here, and I kind of like, yep, yep, whip, whip. Quip is a little bit of backtracking, but we do want to hit rooms with curios, I think. Yeah, just walk right into it, even though you see it. What's the problem? We got lucky to have dodged it. The Packers are map inside. Oh, okay. Uh, curio equals room battle. So let's give this a shot. Blazing star is born. Oh, it's a grain sack. Food stuff crate. A sack of uneaten grain. The object of your search. I hope we, uh, like it's bumper crop is our town event. I, I don't know what it does. But I certainly hope a handsome reward. it's not a here's some extra reward. food. Because, uh, you know, we've already built the farm, right? So we get extra food on a weekly basis. We're saving like, you know, two grand a week as a result. Alright. No surprises. They go first. That always hurts. Two damage, no disease, 11 stress, no disease, no debuff. Love it. Okay, this guy would be first target then if possible. Speed is 9, he'll probably go before me. Um, a lunge is not bad. It does remove the option for sacrificial stab. No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's start with a lunge and hope for a kill. It needed a crit to get the kill, but it puts him in a bad spot either way. Five damage. Bleed, maybe? Bleed is... Nine damage. Not that bad. Clutch dodge. I'm going to say that's thanks to the swine trophy. All right, now you... No real need to heal the bounty hunter yet. I think you're better off doing something like this. And then uh, Dracula Feet is a good kill, by the way. Hopefully... Well, I have, I have a plan. I'll tell you what it is when it's our turn. But it's pretty simple. Bounty Hunter goes first, take the bandages, mark the Swine Heaver, who will probably act first next turn. And then Nicholas, I don't even need to think about it. I know he's got it. I didn't even need to look at the screen. You mark a unit and tell Nicholas it's time to rock. That's the only thing he needs to know. We're hoping, um, I was just going to say, we get the unit up at the front. But then, this unit moves up to the front, and that puts Nick in a bit of a weird spot. Because, uh, like, what's he supposed to do here? I think... We'll go for the heal on the bounty hunter. We healed him for 50, which is disgusting. He resisted the bleed, which is awesome as well. Five damage done to Wolf. Resist, resist, love to see it. Now, I don't really know what to do about you, honestly. Blind fire for 14 is, like, literally half of his HP. That's insanely good. Give them no quarter. Our our backup plan is now also doing a lot of damage. We already don't have enough room. I guess we did take grain sacks. Now, we don't need 26 food. That's just uh that's unnecessary. So we'll take 12. And unfortunately, like you know, we also want to use a skeleton key to open this up going to compound our inventory problems to a large degree. 
And we're probably gonna have to dump some of this other stuff to make it work, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, while we're here, why not try to get this last room taken care of just to see... Glittering gold, trinkets, trinkets and, and bubbles. bubbles. You never know, dude. Pour in blood. We might, uh... We might find a grain sack here and be happy we, we came. We didn't. We didn't find anything, though, so it's not bad, I think. So far, this mission is going very well. As far as uh, my estimation goes, at the very least. Two more grain sacks to go. Uh, we are financially, we put ourselves in a weird spot. I'm gonna try to get a stress relief uh, trap debuff or trap disarm here. Worked pretty well. Um, we did get rid of our medicinal herbs, so forget the dinner card. But to be honest, we're not really that interested in food, regardless, I suppose. Mmm, very nasty enemies. I hate all of them. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage, and it's worse because of no group heal. We do have two anti-venom that we can use appropriately here. Um, theoretically possible we kill you. Generally, I mean, this guy is real annoying as well, but... Um, this guy is the worst. I really think you mark him, and then let Nick have a crit chance to knock him out. Four damage. Resisted a second blight, which I really appreciate. Now you, you're kind of an interesting one, because your thrown dagger is pretty good here. Makes a great chance to kill this guy, but a lunge could also kill this guy outright. Saves me some heartache. I appreciate that. 12 damage. Debuff resist. Love to see it. Okay, cleared up some inventory space. I think we're going to get out ahead of this and put a mark on the uh, large unit. Then Nick. Good try. Good try. 22 damage. You can't rely on the crit every time. I'm not mad. Now, you don't really have much of an option except, like, collecting bounty. Very good damage. I hate to spread that damage out, but we didn't have an option there. Okay. Wolf definitely needs a heal. Pretty nice roll. Gets him back to almost full HP. Preferably, Nicholas would get a heal as well. As the Good shot. Falls. This is a bad encounter, so I don't mind the fact that it's taking a while here. Um, I'm actually going to go for the stun and hope that this works. It did not. But we did get a dodge, which is really just insanely lucky. So we get a 24 HP heal on Nicholas. He resisted the bleed. Everybody's looking relatively good here. Back in starting positions. Fight's over. Pretty solid. No intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered. Uh, I don't really mind losing emeralds, but I guess we'd rather hold uh, one emerald versus two jade. I think. Because we can stack up more of these if we're able to find them. Now, of course, at some point we're going to want to heal. A miserable pile of scrolls. So it purges negative quirk, right? We're looking for Aeneas. Hmm. Risk taker is kind of interesting. I do actually, Egomania, Wolf is the right call here. Egomania removed, let's go. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a stack of grains. Um, let's remove a skeleton key in order to take the grain. Well, we haven't even had the option yet, but there you go. This stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. So far, so good. I mean, this mission, I can't complain whatsoever. It's gone pretty well. Remember, my, my resolution is that on every mission, we attempt Curious to get something new accomplished. What was accomplished on this one? Unwitnessed by his own eyes. Wolf got back to maximum level, and we upgraded some other units as well. Not to mention, there's also uh, the uh, bounty hunter, Tyler. 
He's gonna get a level up out of this, presumably. So there's a lot of... there's. We're not just mindlessly going out on missions. It might not be the most... Of, well, you know what? Actually, go back. It might not be the most efficient use of our limited time in this estate, but we're doing our best. Very clutch torch there. These guys, insanely annoying, gonna do a lot of damage. We pretty much have no choice but to outheal them. Because we go first, I think... No prod, no prod. Realistically, this is a kill on our, um, from our sniper. So we'll do that. And then if we get two attacks on this guy, we can probably kill him. So that would involve, in all likelihood, probably a throwing dagger first. The reason I think we do that is because, um, hold on, please kill. Let's go. Um, we can't attack these guys anyway, so why go for a lunge that puts you up at the front unnecessarily when we could just do that instead? So now, without any stealth uh, removal, this is potentially pretty painful, admittedly, but... That's really bad. Dracula Fetus is on death's door. We can use our Arbalist to heal. Maybe take you out of position? I don't know. Or out of out of being able to target our occultist? I do want to say, like, I don't think that we've done the most fantastic job you could ever imagine. I'm thinking, like, we gotta ice him, so I think you should take a shot. Even though you could have healed and buffed a heal in the future. Okay. Um, but he does have 40 dodge. So it's like, I'm I'm a little perturbed. Let's say I'm a little perturbed that we still find ourselves uh, on death's door here with Dracula Fetus, despite his incredible dodge stat. But I don't know, maybe their accuracy is absurd, you know? So ideally, I wouldn't do this. I would be able to do one more heal. Because we, we got some units that are not necessarily in a fantastic spot. But uh, once we get down here, we could probably, and by probably, I mean, like, doubtlessly afford to rest. Prevent nighttime ambush, raise the slightest bit of stress. Mmm, an actual encounter. Leading to a surprise that could be worse. At least our Arbalist is in an acceptable position. I think you give the game the chance to reward you there. Lucky. I think you start icing him. You're gonna rest anyway. Oh, you suck! <laughs> That's really bad. Because instead of that, we could have had a heal. Um, that's 15 damage of Blight. That's terrible. Please let me act. Okay, thank you for resisting the second Blight. That's extremely helpful. Whew. The Bounty Hunter will probably hit the front unit. So I think that we should sniper shot one of these guys. And we got pretty lucky that that works. There we go. Two units down. Occultists definitely, given the opportunity, should heal the Bounty Hunter. Or move into a position where they can heal the Bounty Hunter. Very lucky on those. I, mean, I have to focus way more on HP than I would like to. So let's just do the math. 11 to 22 with an 84% chance to hit. 11 to 22 with an 84% chance to hit. Okay. Precision and power. Seems like we chose wisely. Healing for 7. Bad time for a low roll. Life goes on, I suppose. We're going to stall a little bit here. Don't really want to move back too, to be honest. I'm worried about stress, but I we have a lot of heals that we would like to take care of if possible. But I guess, you know what? If we can finish the job, let's finish the job. You still got nine damage worth of blight coming your way. Nah, 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 nah. I can't take any of it. That's fine. I'm, I'm choosing not to think about that. We'll rest. Eat up. Now, do we have a cure blight? Yes. It's a pretty good heal, then. This plus nine will prevent nighttime ambush, even though it's going to cause stress.
We have seven actions left. 23, 8, 14. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. 22 stress. 3. Generally, I like to... Uh, you know what? Let's let's buff HP. I was thinking we would... Um, I was thinking that what we would do was... Uh, in radiance, may we buff the Arbalist. And most of the time, I do like that move. But in this situation, I kind of feel like... Uh, I'd rather just make sure our HP is as high as possible. I recognize, by the way, I probably value ambushes. Or I, I respect ambushes too much. But I have had that lead to some unfortunate circumstances. Will be a polite way to describe it. Oh, hello! I forgot about you. Also hilarious. Might as well lunch. Is the fact that... Uh, I mean, we do want to lower his protection, but we'll start with the vulnerability hex. Lower his prot as he gets stronger and stronger. Um, on the last episode, or maybe two episodes ago, I was like, I don't want to go to this place yet because I'm worried about the uh, the thing from beyond the stars. And then in my head, I was like, ah, I'm paying it way too much mind. Turns out, perhaps yes, perhaps no. So I would prefer to use the occultist to take care of this. With a sacrificial stab. Just to put as much damage on this guy before he gets strong as possible. We're really trying to get some crits. With Lucky impunity. us. That gives him protection. Is that how that works? When we kill the crystal? Sky, sky taint? That sounds like a blessing, dude. 21 damage of blight, huh? Plus 20% stress and lower resistances. Bad, admittedly. Um, so with 80% prot, he's a real nightmare, but we'll use a weakening curse next turn. Uh, or will we? Because our bounty hunter is going to be in dire need of a heal. Well, I actually think um, we'll use collect bounty on this to get the heal. And what's your HP? You're at 14 damage of Blight, so you def absolutely need to heal. Then you got critted for 34, which is unbelievably sweet, by the way. Good roll on the heal. I, w I need to get a curse out there. There's no question about that. But as of right now, I can live with this. Because our Arbalist is not on death's door, they're probably going to go for the attack right off the bat. I do think I'd rather go for the buff with the Shadow Fade here. And then I really want to spend the turn getting Weakening Curse out there, if possible. So a lunge is good, but we have two turns of buff, don't we? No, just one. Okay, so a lunge, it's only four to eight damage, but still. It's kind of as good as it gets. Um, so this matters. It really does. No stun? In a I hate stock. the stress, but we resisted the stun. Love to see it. Okay, you are still just in a nightmare zone, but... Mark for death. Lower your prot. Buff the speed. It's just so that at some point we can get him. Now, I am extremely tempted. Wait, I am a fool, by the way. In case that's not abundantly clear. Ya boy. 21 damage of blight, huh? I really wanted to kill this thing so that I could get some heals. Oh, let's go. It worked out. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, but yes, I, I could have done a better job here. This guy's on death's door no matter what. So I think we go for the kill as soon as possible. That's kind of what I was worried about. And there's stress and uh, virtue, hopefully. I actually hate the thing from Beyond the Stars. I, I wish for you to... Leave this place? Good God. Okay, so... Whoa. I mean, we gotta. We gotta. And we need to take the shards as well. So get rid of this. 
Now, my friend, you're about to take seven damage. <laughs> what are you at? Eight HP? Okay, we're gonna leave you there for now. Don't even put the units back in their proper positions. What are you, some kind of genius? If you don't mind me, I'm gonna try to find the grain sack by going downwards! He's already masochistic. You can't hurt him. And by which I mean you could hurt him very badly, but... Okay. 100%. Easiest decision of my life. Does bleed him. And we just got rid of the bandages, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, at this point, who cares about stress? Knock out a damage dealer. Live your life in, in peace and harmony. Man, you are just... Tyler's taking a beating here, man. He's in heart attack range. I hate that we can't target this guy except with the bounty hunter, I guess. You're taking 10, and what's your current HP? 17. There you go. So we've <laughs> compensated for one turn of damage over time. Thank you for not critting. Oh, another bleed. Cool. So you're taking 13 damage. I'm here to say, like, in case you were curious, I think this is extremely cool and sweet. Good crit. Stun, please. Resisted the stun. Very unfortunate for me, personally. Because uh, we would get a turn of economy to do something more valuable, like take a second heal. Okay, you will not heal him. That's fine. You know, Nicholas is always happy to accept the heal. Right? Fair, yeah. I mean, he was shooting blind, so what do you expect? I mean, Tyler, you, you kind of brought it on yourself, buddy. Luckily, you're only going to be on death's door. We got to think about leaving this mission. Dracula is paranoid, okay? Life goes on. Good crit. The mildest of all stress reliefs. Now, again, we continue to have a problem because he is going to bleed. As victories mount, Six damage. So too will resistance. Okay, so he'll... We'll compensate for that bleed. We're really trying to make this mission happen. No, no kidding. Facing the abyss. He's full. Fair enough. Just enough to survive starvation once. Um, this The thing from Beyond the Stars just screws up every mission it's ever been a part of. Um, this is going to sound crazy, but I'm going to walk back this way and hope that this curio or maybe something along this path is a grain sack. Because were it not for that, um, I mean, we're, we're still going to have to fight in here, probably. But we, I think this is our best chance at, at survival and success. And if you'll forgive me, like, I don't feel that bad about the way that this is going. Because I think that the thing from Beyond the Stars, you know, we knew he could be on the mission. He's causing a lot of problems. I just wondered, like, is it possible that we could maybe surprise an enemy from time to time? I don't mind that bleed. That's not that bad. So we, if we wanted to kill an enemy for sure, that's the way to do it right there. Thank you, Wolf. Unsung hero here. Really appreciate it. Stress, I mean, it's it continuing to be an issue. No question about that. Nicholas holding it down. Nicholas, Wolf, and Drac, you guys are doing great. In fact, like, I should really give you more credit, Drac. You've been doing a fantastic job. Um, only one really poor heal over the course of this, like, entire arrangement. Victory. But a victory, nonetheless. The contents are yours. Sure, I mean, I already knew. We weren't going to be able to take that. This should be a grain sack. Ooh. So the grain sack should be in this final room, unless I've missed it, which is also plausible, but... So we are gonna have to get into combat. This is bad. This is, these are bad enemies. I think we go for the, the quick kill if possible. Don't even worry about the mark. What? 
Don't pass, you son of a... Uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright. Set Nick up for the, the stress kill. Because we do have, I mean, heart attack risk. And also, um, I mean, beyond heart attack risk, just like virtue, or sorry, uh, sin or whatever the heck it's called, is definitely plausible here. Uh, I think a lunge on this guy, if it got a kill, I'd be very happy. Lovely. So now Nicholas can do, uh, well, probably a blind fire, unless he's stunned. Nice dodge. I really appreciate that, Nick. You've done a great job. We could also bolus and start working on this guy, but it just shuffles them. I don't think it's worth much. So there is a benefit to the heal because it makes healing better uh, for other units, but I'm not too worried about it just yet. I'd rather get that damage output out there. And uh, the heal is debuffed because of the Arbalist Bandana, or whatever the heck it's called that we put on him. Good dodge, Drac. That's, you mean you got 40 dodge. Just act like it. Okay, please just stop short of these units having actual heart attacks. And we go first, thank god. Don't pass. I, I would appreciate it if you didn't hurt yourself as well, but... At least we took out this unit. Okay, I thought maybe you would go first. But that's all right. Love it. Great work, team. Keep it up. Doing doing fantastic. Please, God, tell me there is a grain sack in this final room. En route from one room to the other. En route from one room to another. En route, but the truth is discovered. If only mm, what's been going on? Flow of otherworldly corruption. All right. Well, we're gonna go to this. Well, we've already, obviously that curio will not have it because we've already walked that way. Um, this is, by the way, my favorite part of Darkest Dungeon, Barnon. So we'll we, we could encounter combat on the way. I surely hope that we will not. I didn't just miss it sitting on the ground, did I? Like that. I would forgive myself, but it would be hard. Because I'm, we're so close to succeeding, but we're also so close to per potentially losing, you know, like every single thing that we've worked for at all. Maybe on this path. Yeah, we, we, you might be like, where's the grain sack there? We already got it, as you saw. I'm sure we didn't just walk past. That doesn't seem like us. Sort of. Yeah, sure, take 20 stress damage. Sets in, turning the body against its Wolf's resolve is tested. He's irrational. I'm really worried we got a heart attack situation on, on our bounty hunter here. Oh, my word. We found it. Panatum! Get me out of here, and let's never speak of this again. Are you kidding me? You succeeded! Why are you having heart attacks on success? Good God. That was horrible. Dude, please, thing from beyond the stars, get out of my game. I don't like you. Plus 25% bleed resist. That's pretty good. Dud hitter. I'd like to get rid of it, but... Syphilis has to be taken care of. Return to town. We gotta do an antiquarian mission next, I think. Like... Our gold situation is in a bad spot. Supplies and provisions cost negative 100. It's like highly not worth it. But at least Tyler, the legendary bounty hunter. Get your... <laughs> they're, they're all bad, but get that treated. Uh, and then I don't necessarily, to, like to be honest with you, really want to treat stress yet. I'm just trying to think. Do you have a mania? No. Like, I'm going for the units that obviously are not going on the next mission. Your mania got handled, right? Plutomania. Okay, we will treat that. And then, who? Dracula Fetus was on this mission. Dracula. Sam in the back of my Dracula. Okay. 
So hopefully the passive stress relief on you slowly but surely. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very harried episode. If you did click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See y'all.